Ask Aaron. The video where you ask Aaron questions and he replies to your questions. First question, how long did it take you to learn a kickflip? Great question, no idea. I actually have no idea. If I have to guess, I'm gonna say six months to eight months. But I was really slow. I didn't have YouTube, I didn't have a book, I didn't have anybody to show me. I didn't know what I was doing. When I saw somebody ollie for the first time, I was like, what the freak of nature was that? So yeah, I remember ollieing over the, my a hose. That was like my one of my greatest accomplishments. It was a garden hose on the flat ground. I ollied over that and I was like, the future is mine. How do you get more pop on your tricks? There's so many different ways to get more pop on your tricks and most of the tricks have a different method. Um, how to ollie higher, the easiest way tutorial tells you how to ollie higher. It's like the way that you slide. But oftentimes people think it's about the actual pop down. It's not. It's more about the slide up and the kick and bending your knees and things like that that make you go higher. Have you ever dreamed of going to the X Games? It's more like have you ever had nightmares where you were in the X Games and you're standing on top of the mega ramp with Bob Burnquist. Bob Burnquist drops in and does a 540 lip slide and then you drop in and get impaled by the giant rail in the middle. That's what I think about the X Games. Do you have any skate videos when you were younger? If you do, you should play them. I do, I have a lot. I did a whole series called like classic clips. Tons of videos from when I was younger. Check it out. From my personal experience, leather skate shoes are a lot better and more durable than suede, as well as more practical. Too bad they're rare to find nowadays. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, the only reason I don't like leather is because they're just more slippery. I like the suede. Yes, the leather will last longer, but I'm all about the like the workability of the shoe. I want the most grippiest grip tape shoe slash grip tape combo there is, and that's suede, baby. Do you a brand of skateboard called Dark Star? It's really good. And then another person said the boards are made to last. I have no idea what they're talking about. But go to reviveskateboards.com and get boards there. Because they're sickness. Just sickness. Hey Aaron, what does Sprocker 7 mean? Sprocker 7 is... 7 is a lucky number. And Team Sprock is my crew of snowboard slash skateboard slash best friends ever dot com growing up in Montana. So Team Sprock and then I was Sprocker 7, the number 7 because it's lucky. So you gotta have a lucky number, Sprocker 7 lucky number. Where do you get your skateboards? Like what website? Reviveskateboards.com why do you recommend following your gradient of all your friends have a name, backside have a name, pop shop, heel flip, and then kick flip? And then another person says, if it helps him, why not? I recommend that specific series because I see a lot of times people go, I'm gonna ollie, and then they go, I'm gonna kick flip, and then they go, kick flipping is really hard, and then they quit, and they never skateboard again. You would be amazed at how many emails I get of Aaron. I have picked skateboarding back up after quitting for so long, thank you so much. Now I'm progressing and I'm following your sequence of tricks and it's really helping. I suggest that sequence because it works. That's all I care about. You progressing in skateboarding and getting to the kickflip and it will work. You could spend six months on the kickflip and never land it. Or you could spend one week on the ollie, one week on the front side 180, one week on the back side 180, half a week on the pop shove it, half a week on the front side shove it, and then go straight to the kickflip from there, and you'll probably get the kickflip in one to two weeks. That whole time to learn all of those tricks is far less than it would have been for you to skip from ollie to kickflip. So unbelievably important, I cannot even begin to tell you how important it is because it's so absolutely important. Do you ever get annoyed if constantly repeating the order of tricks to learn and doing the same skate supports over and over again. No, I don't actually get annoyed because the way that I think about it is it's a different kid. I'm actually like sending a communication to a different person. I don't think of it like, God, the same thing, you're flipping down, no, retard. No, I don't think of it like that at all. I think of it like 
that's a different kid, I'm here to help that kid at that moment in time, and that's what I'm there for. Every skate support video I do in its own unit of time and just has its own thing, and I just go, okay, here's this kid, he lives in Australia, he needs my help. Honestly, I think it's really amazing the whole internet and YouTube and all of these different people that you can interact with. You can never do that before, you can never do that anywhere else. And it's just incredible to meet so many different people from all over the different world. So I think it's cool to like teach a kid in China, teach a kid in Japan, New Zealand, and all over the place. And they're getting skateboarding made simple and they're progressing. And the world of skateboarding is getting bigger. Soon, you're going to go to school and your organized activity for sports is going to be like, do you want to play baseball, football, soccer, or skateboard? And they're going to be like, just go to the skate park. It's right outside of every school. And part of you and I progressing skateboarding now is going to put that there in 10 years. So let's do that. You can be a part of that with me. We'll all work on it together and we'll push skateboarding. Hashtag push skateboarding. Hey Aaron, why don't you like go to the barracks and let them discover your skills and then make friends hang out with them? I actually have gone to the barracks and let them discover my skills and made friends and hung out with them. They're rad guys. I totally support the barracks. I love what they're doing. And I think the barracks is super, super, super sick. And I think the barracks gives people opportunities that they get nowhere else. And I think that's great. Aaron, what is your opinion of Lakai shoes? Are they good for skating? And Steven Alba says yes. Yeah, I agree with Steven. I think they're pretty good. What brand was your first board? It was a dog town. Think about that. What music do you listen to when you skate? I don't listen to any music when I skate because I like to hear things. I like to hear the board, I like to hear the wind, I like to hear the birds, and I like to hear the turds. Please click that subscribe button, click the like button, leave your comment below. If you have a question you want me to answer, I will do my best to answer it in the Ask Aaron series. Thank you and good night.